Hello friends. Today we are discussing flash chromatography. Myself, Vikrant Damak, assistant professor from PRES College of Pharmacy for Women, Chinsoli, Sinner, Nasik. So let's see firstly introduction. Going back to the history, flash chromatography was discovered by two scientists, Clark and Still, in 1978 in Columbia University. Flash chromatography is advanced version of column chromatography. Flash chromatography is also called medium pressure chromatography. Now question comes to mind why it is called advanced version of column chromatography. So for that purpose, one should know what is actually column chromatography firstly, then we will understand the concept of flash chromatography. Mobile phase and stationary phase, these are the two components of chromatography. After applying a sample, a solvent is to be added and after addition of solvent, compounds get separated according to their affinity now you can see in that uh, last test tube we are seeing that green color compound it has been eluted out so similarly other compound components according to the affinity they will be eluted and so this is called as an column chromatography How is flash chromatography different from column chromatography? Basically, flash chromatography uses a pressure to elude the solvent through the column. But column chromatography does not use any pressure. Now here you can clearly see that it is basically in column chromatography having a pump. So now we'll see components of flash chromatography. Firstly, a mobile phase. Secondly, stationary phase. After that, column packing, sample application, elution, identifying sample by TLC. Firstly, now mobile phase. So according to the type of elution, gradient is the first one. So solvent. Has same composition throughout the run. And second one is isocratic. The concentration of solvent changes throughout the run. Basically, gradient it is used for single component and isocratic it is used for multiple components. Now coming towards the next part that is stationary phase. Silica is commonly used in flash chromatography as it is used in column chromatography but difference is that particle size range it is around 37.6 to 16 micrometer and it should pass through the sieve number 250 to 400. After that next component that is column packing. Firstly we will see a dry packing. In dry packing uh, select a column and take a cotton plug or insert a silica at the bottom. After that add a solvent in the column and start the cock so the solvent will drain out and air bubble will come out. After that take a funnel and add the silica in it let the solvent flow continue through the cock once solve once silica it has been added let the column settle down after tapping the column of the cock 
and now you can see that clearly column is ready for elution next part it is wet packing so it is second type of unpacking so in wet packing firstly take sand or cotton plug after that add a solvent open the cork let the solvent drain out so that air bubble it will be removed after that add a slurry so slurry it is nothing but silica plus solvent tap it and after tapping column will be ready third part that is sample application so there are two methods wet application and dry application so in wet application take a fresh solvent in a beaker after that add um, compound which is to be separated and then mix it thoroughly and after that put a small portion at the top of a column of sample now column is ready for elution on dry application in dry application take a fresh solvent in a beaker after that add a sample which is to be separated mix it and also put a silica in it so silica will get absorbed and let the solvent evaporate now remaining is sample and silica so add that sample and silica at the top of column the column is ready for elution next process that is elution so minimum pressure up to 15 to 20 psi it has been applied to run a solvent to column to separate the sample mixture so it utilizes pump to create a pressure now we'll look a methodology actual how it works so firstly we should do an tlc of the compounds taking a sample uh, at the initial moment and running it through an tlc chamber so now we can see there are three spots means it is a, uh, indicating that there are three components now column as it is ready with pump and solvent reservoir so when you start eluting so in couple of test tube you will not find anything in the initial stage later on you can see that compound it has been separated that is red in color and from tlc you can understand that tlc it is against the gravity and column it is with the gravity so compound which is having higher rf will be separated firstly now the compound it has been separated so red color uh, test tube it is indicating that compound having a highest rf has been separated and also similarly you can see the chromatogram which is given by hplc also and you can see that tlc of that particular test tube it is showing red color compound separately after that second compound it has been separated out and we can run a tlc of particular that compound and now we can locate the spot so comparing the tlc number 2 you can see that the spot of compound number 2 and also you can see the chromatogram thirdly now last compound that has been remaining so last compound it has been now eluted out and from tlc we can just that compound it has been eluted and from rf value we can identify that particular compound and the chromatogram which is shown by some digital meters hope you enjoyed the video thank you